it is time for an August favorite. And this is the most bittersweet I've ever felt about a month ending. If you guys don't know, I um, turned 18 in August, which was awesome, super exciting. But um, I leave for college in September. <laughs> Um, so it's very bittersweet. All of my friends have left already except for Sydney, so I'm excited to go to college, so I can't wait for September to come, but at the same time, I'm terrified to be moving out and moving to Southern California from Northern California, so it's very bittersweet. Um, but I've got a decent amount of makeup products to show you guys, but this month was very au natural for me just because I was traveling a lot, so I really wasn't wearing that much makeup, but um, I'm going to show you guys what I've really been liking this month. So in the month of August, I've turned back to using to my Jergens um, Natural Glow Healthy Complexion. This is medium to tan skin tones. It's a gradual tanner for your face. I went back to using this on my face instead of my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel just because, I don't know, lotion, moisturizing lotion. I find that that works a lot better when my skin's very dry. In the summer, I tend to be a, not oily because I have very dry skin, but I don't really need that extra oomph of moisture. And I was like, hey, why not get a little bit tanner? So that's what I've been using on my face, and I really like it. And it does smell like sweaty Australian, so I have an entire review um, on Jergens comparison video, so I will link that in the number. My next face favorite, face favorite, is the MSF in Semi Precious Rose Quartz, and this is from the Semi Precious collection from MAC, which came out maybe in July or August, but it actually broke when I was traveling, so just like this little piece comes for it. But it's fine, I'm gonna try and glue it back in, but um, I don't really think I can, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I use the middle part as a highlighter, and I use the all-around pink as a blush, and it's really pretty, and I really like this, but it broke and travel. Any day I'm not using that blush, I am using NARS Cactus Flower. I'm obsessed with this. I, I used it in one of my recent tutorials, and a lot of you were surprised at how natural it comes off looking, and it really does. It's a crazy color to start with. Yeah, like really, like I know. It's a really pretty red with gold shimmer but it looks so pretty on and I love the flush it gives and it's honestly I love it's gorgeous and I really I only have two eye products this month the first one is the paint pot in soft ochre which I actually got pretty recently but I've been using it every day so I felt like it was justified and it's basically painterly if you have yellow undertones um it's just a uh, paint pot that is a base for your eyeshadows and I use it as a primer instead of using a primer and I think it looks so natural and I really like using this even if I'm just wearing mascara for the day because it just completes your eyelids and makes them not veiny. It's not a favorite this month, my veiny eyelids. <laughs> but the next eye favorite a lot of you have been commenting about in my tutorials, it is the One by One Mascara by Maybelline. And you guys know I swear by my Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And to be honest, this is only in second place. It's still still my favorite mascara, but I feel like I need to try more. I really like how this makes my lashes look. My lashes look exceedingly long. I think they look longer than they do with my Sexy Curves, but what I like about the Sexy Curves is it keeps the curl in your lashes, where I feel like this doesn't really keep the curl for that long. But here's the brush. It's just one of the classic ones. You can buy it at the drugstore. It's really, really nice, cheap, affordable, and it has a medium formula, not that wet. I like very wet formulas, kinky, I know, but that's just me, but it has like an in-between formula. Rocket Republic eyeshadow in tribal, and you're not gonna see it because it's a mirror, but I've been using this a lot, a lot, a lot. It's just a matte, dark brown shade, very neutral. Fit. <laughs> and this is why I hated lip gloss. It's very, very neutral, but I love um, smudging this on my upper lash line, using it as eyeliner, and on my lower lash line if I'm going out, doing something like that. But I think it's really pretty and has a fantastic formula. My favorite and go-to lip combination for the month has been Max Lipstick in Creme de Nude. Super pretty. It's just a really light nude color. Love it. With the Buxom Gloss in Terra on top, which is just a pink with a little bit of blue shimmer. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I've been wearing it the entire time I was on vacation. And I absolutely love, love, love how it looks. This... Sorry, I hiccuped and I just didn't tell you. And I just had this weird facial expression. So that's what it was. Most amazing formula. It's tingly. It feels really awesome on your lips because it's plumping. I don't really know if it does plump. But I love it. It's not sticky. It's honestly my favorite lip gloss I've ever, ever tried. I'm never going back to a different lip gloss. I'm obsessed with this. And I think uh, I just love how it looks on your lips. And it doesn't give you that dead corpse look but it gives you um, a very natural lip look, which I like. This is kind of a random favorite, but it is this MAC blush palette. And you guys know I'm addicted to blushes. I'm obsessed. It's the product of makeup I probably own the most from. It's what I always gravitate towards buying. And for my 17th, 17th? No, I turned 18. Wow, Megan, stop trying to shave years off your age. Not supposed to do that yet. <laughs> so I actually have two jewelry favorites this month, and one of them is these pair of earrings from Forever 21. I bought these when I was in LA filming with Style Haul, and they're gorgeous, 
gorgeous colors. Oh my god, they're turquoise and gold. And personally, I feel like since I have pretty long hair and pretty thick and like curly, a lot of hair, that I can really get away with wearing very, very large, very long earrings. But these have been my go-to earrings with just a white t-shirt, anything. When I don't know what earrings to wear, I always tend to wear these. And I think they look so pretty and they're so summery. So the last Julie favorite is my Tiffany's bracelet. It's the Return to Tiffany's charm bracelet with the little heart. And I think it's so cute. And I got this for my 18th birthday. And I love it. And it's been, I've been wearing it every single day except right now because I can't fasten it and no one's helping me fasten it. I probably should just ask, but I, I haven't. So I have three app favorites this month. And the first one is Seed Cheer Out. And Seed Cheer Out is right there. Cut the rope light because I'm cheap like that. Oh, then Bejeweled 2. So Seed Cheer Out is kind of like Angry Birds in a way, and I'm really good at these kinds of games. Um, I'm just, not to toot my own heart, I'm really good at games. Um, I've never been good at video games, so I've always been really good at computer games. So I beat Seed Cheer Out in like, probably like a week or so, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Um, basically, I'll show you a trial little level. It's super fun. These games are all free because I'm cheap as shit, so you guys can learn how to do it too. So basically what you do is you throw rocks to try and kill these little people. And yeah. So it's cut the rope lights, which is basically the same as cut the rope. It's just the cheap version. Is you just cut the rope. And look, you get that. You cut the rope, you get stars. It's really fun. Last one is Bejeweled. I'm sure you guys have all played this. You just move around the gems to switch to get three in a row. So like connect three, connect the dots, connect four. I can't do this upside down. But I've been obsessed with that. Favorite song of the month has been... post on my favorite songs of the month check the doobly so the people who I've been loving watching this month have been 11th gorgeous love Tracy and Steph they're so funny I love their videos they're very laid back and relaxed and carefree and they're also really funny which I love next people favorite would have to be Lily Halpern because I did stay in her bed and watch those McGuire movies Love Lily, she's fantastic. Go check her out on iTunes, go check out her YouTube channel, all that stuff. And the last people favorite would definitely have to be Haley's TCB. Um, we met at my Connecticut meetup and I seriously freaking love this girl. I've always thought she was the most talented person in like my age category making YouTube videos. Like I think she's definitely the most talented person I know who is younger, putting out actual physical makeup tutorials. She's insanely talented. She's so good at what she does. But on top of it, she really has that um, I don't really give a fuck attitude. And she's so sweet in person and she's super funny and we just get along really well. And I love her. She's fantastic. So go subscribe to her. She's the shit. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. This video is so long I don't want to edit it.